Hi, this is Text again, and this will be the third recording in the series of training recordings for Twitter uh, Friend Adder. And up till now, we really haven't looked at the interface at all. So I was going to do on this train. I was also going to do a real quick look. See, on this left-hand side over here, what you have basically are browsers, or actually multiple browsers, because you've got a tab up here, and it defaults automatically to go to the Twitter uh, ad Friend Adder support forum which I highly recommend you go through uh, as the very first thing you do typically what you're going to see when you first come in is this and let's go ahead and make it so you can see it better and so this window is really a browser window it defaults here and here's where you're going to get lots of answers to lots of questions this is where you're going to post your actual uh, something's not working the way you expect it to or you don't understand how to do something this is where you're going to post it to lively browser and they have excellent support. He gets back to you very quickly, especially for a $50 program. It's just totally amazing to me. So this is where you're going to go here. So that's what's part of this program. And, it's, and this whole product is more browser than it is friend adder, but uh, we're not really concerned about it then. This side of the program is actually a running log of whatever you've done in, since the last time you opened the program. And I don't know if there's some limit to the number of entries that go in here. There probably is somewhere. But it's not retained from session to session. What I mean by session is if you close the program out and come back in, it doesn't show you what was there before. But it is... Um, it does save everything from the process. And we'll, we'll look at how this actually works. So this is a log screen. And obviously, based on what you just saw me do a minute ago, you can get more or less of it. Down here, when you the progress screen, basically, this is a multi-threaded program. So it is possible to have an add running at the same time that a removes running. And because I've already done certain things, and we'll go into this when we look at the actual remove, mine automatically come down here and start processing down here. And you'll see that when we do the add in a moment. So. When you first do this, however, and you first do an add or you first do a remove, it's going to bring up a dialog box. And on the dialog box, there'll be a checkbox for, do you want to run this in the background? I always check that. And then the first time you check that, then you don't ever have to do it again. It remembers it. It puts it here. In fact, I don't even know how to not get it to go down there now so that I could show you that. But that's what's going to happen, and that's how you want to handle that. Uh, actually, it's very intuitive. So, the per primary purpose of this training video, however, is to go ahead and look at the Add Friends functionality. And this will be probably the longest training video that I have. I still want to keep it under 10 minutes so that I can post it up to YouTube. But this is going to be where you're going to want to understand exactly how everything works. And I may split this up into two videos if it gets too long. Basically, when you're looking at adding, first of all, you can add by account. So, again, I've got my four accounts in here, and I can also all accounts one by one rotate when you're finished with one. So, basically, it adds a, however many friends to one account, and then it goes to the next account, the next account, the next account. I do not use this functionality because each of my accounts, as you can tell by the, the names, are niche specific. So, the people that I'm going to want to do, follow, that I want to follow, uh, that I'm going to be following are going to be niche specific. So I'm going to have different criteria for determining who falls into that list of people that I want to follow. So I actually never use this functionality all accounts. I always use the specific one. So online toolman is an account, for example, right now, if I looked at my statistics, it's time to do a follow for them because I actually have more followers than following. So I have an opportunity to increase my followers by getting some more people that I'm following that I haven't followed before. And that terminology can get a little confusing, but that's basically what we're going to do there. This next one is one of the true powers of Friend Adder, and that is is that it's going to give me the ability to um, determine who I'm going to follow. Who is it going to go out and follow based on a variety of criteria? The first one you can see here, and it remembers your settings from the previous um, ad that you did. So the last ad I did, I did a follow based on somebody else's followers. Okay, so I went out to, in this case, if we look right here, I know for a fact that Mike Klinger is in the internet marketing space. I did some searching and found his username, saw that he had lots of followers. So I'm now following his followers by using this process. And that's one of the ways you can do this. So if and, and we'll talk about that because that's the way I typically do it the most often. The two 
options that I use the most are search tweets, which is going to use in the advanced search function within Twitter, and follow other people's followers. So I determine which person I has a following that I would like to also be following me, and then I target them by using this particular line right here. So let's just go ahead and finish this out since it's already in place. So what I would do is, is I would go and find a group of people that are in my niche that have large followings. And the way I do that, and you can do it this way if you want or not, but I have a, a spreadsheet. I've gone out, I've done searches using Twilio or a variety of other solutions, including the advanced, but I use Twilio because it gives me more information and the results uh, information that it re re retrieves. So I have a list of people that I want to follow. And for example, on this one, Jeremy Sandy, I followed everybody that he had at the time that I did these follows. And you'll notice that I also keep track of the last time and date that I did a follow. Now, all I'm doing basically is, okay, so there's about 20, there are 20 page, twenty people per page, so this page number is important too. So, for example, with Brad Fallon, who's a, a well-known search engine optimization guy, um, I've followed through 364 pages. He's got 1,200 users, so I've only followed about 7,200 people. So I've still got another 5,000 people I could follow. And you can see that the last time I did a follow was at 10 p.m. on the 17th of April for Brad. So what I can do is I can continue to follow Brad some more and get, some, get the rest of his followers. Uh, and so I keep track of that information. I also, whatever the last group person I followed, I always put that up here. So I show when I did my last unfollow and I show when I did my last follow. And that way it's easier for me to manage my accounts. I, my, the cycle that I use typically is I do not follow, I, I do an unfollow, unfollow process. And I follow one day and then two or two to three days later I do an unfollow to clear out everybody to make room for more people that I can then do following and a percentage of those people are going to follow me back. So I cycle every 24, excuse me, 48 to 72 hours. I don't cycle any faster than that now. Uh, when I first started doing it, I was cycling a little bit faster. It didn't hurt me, but I've just slowed it down a little bit with the larger accounts that I have now. It's uh, more painful if I were to have one suspended, so I'm a little bit more cautious. So anyhow, that's kind of the concept of how I do it. You're more than welcome to use the same process if you want. So in any case, all that means is I'm going to have the information I want to put right here is going to be the username. And then what page do I want it to start at? Because if I've already followed that person for a while, then I don't want to refollow again. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, and I'm actually going to copy this so I can keep it, is I can actually come in here and I can do an advanced search. And this is going to search um, either the username or the content of tweets, which is really useful. And so if I wanted to, for example, follow everybody that is having some kind of conversation about Hummingbird software and they're asking a question. This is a Twitter functionality in their search engine which uh, friend adder is going to pass through. So I can say Hummingbird software and now what's going to happen is it's going to go out and find everybody that's asking questions about Hummingbird software and I will then follow that group of people. So that's very, very targeted traffic that I'm going to be going after at that point which is exactly what I want. I'm not looking for people that have are advertising Hummingbird because they're already sold on Hummingbird and they're using it. I'm asking for people that are asking questions about Hummingbird software. So very easy way to target people and then I can either market Hummingbird software which I've been doing for quite a while and love the software or because of the value proposition that Friend Adder provides you can then present Friend Adder to people that are asking questions about Hummingbird or any other product or niche. Obviously this is just an example in our specific space. So that's really all there is to the search function. I'm going to put this back in, tell it OK. And now I've got number of threads. I put it at three. That might be a little aggressive. You can change that. Number of people. There's a formula I use for determining that, but then I choose how many people I want to follow. Random time, I found two to 20 seconds is working fine without problem, so I use that. Uh, don't add friends who are removed before. Absolutely leave this checked. You don't ever want to add back somebody that you followed okay then you unfollowed them now you just don't want to go back to those people they didn't follow you last time they're gonna follow you now that's it